Okay, so we're going to take a look at this Regina Housekeeper. Well, Housekeeper Plus. Um, I bought this off a fellow collector thinking, you know, it would be nice to have one around for its historical value. But, you know, it just... There's really nothing that special about it, so I figured I'd end up letting go of it. But the historical value of a housekeeper, even though this wouldn't have been one of the first generations, was that Regina was either the first or one of the first um, uprights to have onboard tools. And it's like that must sound kind of bizarre, especially to probably younger collectors. But Hoover was the company that first created the clean air um, or bypass design as we know it, at least in an upright. And, you know, the dialomatic was the first. But after the, uh, I think they sold the patent to Panasonic and then they continued making direct air machines like the Concept. And then over time, other companies came up with their own clean air designs, but it was Regina that started putting, you know, an onboard hose on them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just noticed something interesting about this machine. It probably isn't of any significance, but uh, just looking at the bag on here, Phillips. That's strange to me. I don't know, you know, if Phillips had a hand in making these or if they were just producing the bags or what, but it's like Phillips hasn't had a big presence in the U.S. aside from making the uh, Oric Dutch Tech canisters. And I'm sure, as anyone is familiar with the Regina brand, they were kind of uh, done in by their lack of quality. You know, they were really cheaply made and they just didn't last. You know, I've heard things about plastic axles. Well, these, they kind of jut out and then the wheels just fit into the space between the body here and on that uh, piece there. So I don't know if these are the plastic axles I heard about or what. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's actually not, from what I've seen, it's actually not a bad cleaner despite its low amperage, but, you know, it was such a simple design. Anyways, uh, let's uh, get on with the testing here. We'll start with the electrical measurements, and then we'll move on to the typical airflow and suction. All right. So here's our ambient voltage. inch and a quarter fitting right here it just plugs right into there so i had to use this to uh make the cone fit it is not well sealed
Okay, I don't remember where I got the idea that it was a, you know, decent machine thumb. <laughs> Maybe I'm just mistaking it for something else. Um, I think we've seen worse measurements, but this one was certainly not impressive. I think, just going from memory, I think the one we've seen that has been worse was the Dirt Devil Deluxe Upright, the one that took the C-style bag. Those things just... The air path on them really failed them. So, <laughs> I mean, probably not the worst, but certainly far from the best. And it certainly shows that it was still in the early days of the bypass upright, because this... 